G'day, I'm Drew from Gringo Productions, and today, let's look at how we turn this footage here, which is chugging along very slowly, into this footage here, which is playing back very smoothly. G'day, how you going? I'm well, thanks for asking. If you did, which I'm sure you did, because you're great people. Anyway, so enough of that great intro. So today we're going to look at how to get smooth playback in DaVinci Resolve 17. There is a really simple way to get easy playback, but before we do that, let's just talk about the grade for a second. So the grade's pretty much rubbish, so I've just got all these clips here and I've done a super quick job, it doesn't particularly matter. But what I've done is I've added this FX to this image here, which is the one FX that will always slow down your footage, and that is Patch Fixer. So to make it more obvious, let's just chuck it on this guy's face here. Somewhere that's amusing. That's funny. We'll do that. Cool. So if we get our playback, as you can see, it is not playing back smooth at all. So how do we get smooth playback? Well, it is actually very simple. So what we're going to do is go to playback timeline proxy mode and then chuck it on one of these resolutions here. So let's say we we'll go half resolution. And now DaVinci Resolve has already worked out what you want. And then big screen again, control F. And then we play that back. And now we have perfectly smooth footage. Of course, your footage in terms of quality is a little less, but at the same time, you're getting perfect playback. So you are getting more than you're losing. So that is a good thing. So there are a couple of things that you need to know with this. If you are grading your project, you always want to be in the highest resolution possible. So you want to be in timeline proxy mode off. That way you're grading at the highest quality. Now, this won't actually affect your footage. So let's say you've done 10 hours grade, right? And you've done it on proxy mode, quarter resolution, didn't realize you're doing it, and then you freak out, you think your grade's not gonna work. It's not gonna affect your grade. So it's completely fine. So all you gotta do, is just go back to playback and then go off. And then you can see your amazing grade at its full quality. So the other thing that you may be worried about is that if you've shown your client your footage and maybe you've chucked it on half resolution because it wasn't playing back properly and then you go to deliver it and you forget to take it off so if we go play back again timeline proxy mode quarter resolution and now you think that when i export it it's going to export in that weird resolution well it actually doesn't so how do we know this well, we go down to advanced settings in our deliver page DaVinci Resolve will automatically render your project at the best settings unless you change it. You can use Optimize Media, which is another option for speeding up your footage, which we'll talk about another time. And then we have Proxy Media, and then we have Render Cache, etc., etc. So they're all selected off. There's nothing to worry about. Unless you go ahead and chuck this on and start rendering out poor footage, you're really not going to have a problem whatsoever. But, of course, you don't have to believe me. We'll do a test. So... We have a name up here, proxy test, which is spelt perfectly correct. So let's do a high resolution. So let's go to DNX HR and then we'll go down to, we don't need this one, they're crazy. Um, DNX HQ is fine. So we're exporting at a very high resolution. Now I'm not going to export the whole timeline. So we'll just do an in point, which is I and the out point, which is O. We'll just do like half the clip. So that's just going to render that which is your in and out range, which is of course this area here. Now let's add that to our render queue and then render that. And now we'll just skip ahead in time and we'll come back to that. Alrighty, so we skipped ahead in time and we're back in resolve. And again, if you go to playback timeline proxy mode, we're still in quarter resolution and let's make that screen big. So control F. Alrighty, so as you can see, we are very blotchy. Our footage of course is running really smoothly. We have this weird brick head going on. Ugh, it's not a pretty side, but yeah, we don't look that great. If we go to our exported version we did, as you can see, we are at the highest resolution possible and we don't have any problems. It does look a little bit blotchy, but that's because I actually do have a lot of film grain on it, which I put on to try and slow my computer down. Hindsight, probably shouldn't have done that, but that's fine. But as you can see, DaVinci Resolve has exported at the highest resolution possible, so there's nothing to worry about if you have your project set to a quarter resolution it's always going to do the best. So nothing to stress about there. So I've been looking around YouTube a lot and a lot of people are talking about optimized media in DaVinci Resolve, which is a new feature 
in 17. I won't get into it too much. It has a lot of pros, but also has a lot of negatives that people don't seem to be talking about. So I think that we'll have to make a video of it and we'll do a deep dive on it and we'll really get into it why I think it's really great, but then why I think that it has some problems. Also, one of the problems is, is that if you want to generate that media, this is a very short clip. I think it's like 30 seconds. And then, you know, if we generate that media, it takes a long time to actually generate. If this clip's 30 seconds, can you imagine generating an hour's worth of footage? Like that's gonna take a long time, plus all the proxies it makes, et cetera, et cetera. But again, we'll get into that in another video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my new sultry tones. I put a comment a long time ago asking advice for about a microphone, ended up buying a Blue Yeti, so that was pretty good. And then I ended up still not being completely satisfied with the sound quality. And then another person commented, well, the same person commented about a couple of things I could do to improve it. And then I went and realized that I used to use this program called Audio Mixer. And then I got into that and I went back to YouTube and I found, good old YouTube, found the best settings for Audio Mixer and OBS and everything sounds so much better. So thank you very much to that person. Very appreciative of it. Um, I do read all your comments, so make sure to comment away. You're helping me as much as I'm helping you. So I do appreciate that. Anyway, enough of that rant. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. There are lots of good videos out there that can help you with your DaVinci Resolve. A lot of good tricks and tips. I've been Drew once again. Have a great day and thanks for watching.